Hello guys, and welcome to a game called Planet Side 2. So this is actually the PlayStation 4 version of it, and let me go and mute the chat here, because they, they have a, a chat function similar to Elder Scrolls Online, if you saw my uh, re review on that, uh, where you can go and talk to people in your proximity, so I don't know, can I, is there a way to turn that off, or... I don't know. I mean, I could just go into a party, but anyway, I might just mute the audio for the game. But... Without further ado, let's go and continue. So, Planet Side Zoo, if you don't know what it is at all, I actually mentioned it in a few videos of mine. Or actually, no, I mentioned it in the uh, Gun Gale Online video, and I kind of explained into depth on what it is. So, pretty much, imagine the game, the board game Risk, but you're the actual player. You're, like, the player on the board. Here's where you start off. In order to get to the next area, you have to be at least level 15, I think. And then you can go to the uh, next area. So if I go and zoom in on the area, I can't see what it's like. And this is a beta, by the way, so there's going to be a lot of issues. And I'm going to go and get into that later. But uh, for this one, uh, you can't go into... I can't see how big the, the map is. So what I noticed in, from the first area is it's pretty small. And I don't know if that's because they have to go and fix it on PlayStation 4 in order to make it. Because I haven't seen the other places yet, so I don't know how, how big they are. If they're actually like the actual size in the real game. But all I know is, from here, this is pretty small, considering the actual map pretty much would take up the entire screen. Um, so, but this is a tutorial area. This is where all the newbies are going to be. I'm a level 8, and I, I played it for about an hour or so. And I noticed the controls in this are kind of a little bit more easier than on PC. I noticed I was able to get a few more, a lot of, quite a bit more kills than I normally would, because... It just feels more smoother to use controller, in my opinion. Gameplay is pretty smooth, like, your my PlayStation can run it really well, and the graphics in this are pretty good. Uh, whereas uh, on my PC, I have a pretty good computer, but I don't know if it's just my monitor or not, or what it is, but uh, I noticed the graphics on the computer were kind of bad. So, what we're, we're going to do is we're going to go and jump into instant action combat, because I, I kind of don't want to have to travel all the way from here to here. I mean, it's still pretty small, uh, far, even though the map is smaller. And I can't just go and get a, a flying vehicle, because I don't think I'm the proper level to do that. But you can, uh, you, there are, there is vehicles in the game, and uh, the standard one that you get is this little bike. You can go and put turrets on it, and that's, we'll get into more customization later. So let's go ahead and jump into a battle. Map. Uh, instant action. So I actually, I know something different between this and PC, is when you go into instant action, uh, on PC it would, they would drop you in. And somebody's mic is pretty loud. Wait, actually wait, they did drop me in. When I was, when I came in here earlier, they didn't, they never dropped me in. They kind of just spawned me in here. That's actually pretty cool, I didn't, wow, I didn't know that. Because every time I, I would log in, they would just, oh, there's a ton of people over there. Okay, they got me. Because every time I would, like, teleport over, going to instant action, it wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be in a, a drop pod, as I would call it. Wait, am I in the action? Let me go and check. I am in the action. Okay, so hopefully I can go and commentate over this. I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to concentrate and then talk at the same time. Uh, but, in this game, it's pretty, it's a huge game. There's a ton of people playing this, so... This one area is probably about the size of a Call of Duty map, like this one block. And this is just the tutorial area. I mean, if you look at the size of this island compared to this one, you can definitely tell that this is probably bigger. Unless they dumbed it down and like this. I don't know, I can't tell because I'm not, I'm not there yet. I can't tell. Uh, so the story behind this, if you're new to the Planet Side 2 game entirely, the story is there are three factions. That's a red guy right there. You did not fail, Vanu. Ah, oh, dang. I did not fail Vanu. I failed myself. Oh, it makes me so sad. There are three main faction factions. Uh, Vanu Sovereignty, which they're a religious cult. Uh, the reason I picked them, which I'm actually in the Vanu Sovereignty, the reason I picked them is because they are they have the coolest uh, vehicles and stuff like that. They're, they're more high-tech. Then these people, the blue guys right here, uh, I forgot what they're called. I forgot the names, but what they are, they're like rebels. And then the red people are the Imperials of the game, so they're kind of like the Romans, and the blue guys are after against the red guys, and then we're pretty much just here taking on everybody. I mean, they're, everybody's for themselves too, but I mean, we're kind of just the uh, middle man, if that makes sense. 
So, in this game, you can go and get different, they have different classes, you can go and get different weapons in that class. They have customization, however, it does cost real money because it's, it's a vanity item, it's not like anything necessary. Like, this, this stuff right here wouldn't get, give you any advantage, so you can go and buy uh, coins. But this game is actually, it's free to play, and right now it's in beta, but the actual game is going to be free to play. I mean, it's free to play as it is now, but when it finally, when the full game is out, it's going to be free to play, so... You, you can get vanity items here, you can go and buy different color skins. Uh, that's one form of currency. The other form of currency is used to buy stuff like guns and stuff that actually is necessary. So if you go and look, uh, there's that orange thing. It's like the top right one where the currency is at the top of the right hand of the screen. And you can see how much it actually costs. You can see the prices of the weapons and you can go and buy attachments for the weapons. And yeah, you can. that's what that is there. Uh, they have different aircrafts, social, yeah, you can go and talk to people here, you can go and form a squad if you want. So it's kind of like an MMO mixed with a shooter, however there's no MMO aspect to it. So I mean if you want to be in like a futuristic war with a lot of people, then this is it. Like this would, I would consider this kind of like the Halo MMO that never came out. Or I mean it did come out, but I mean it just, I imagine it as like a Halo type of MMO. Hopefully I'm not going, getting off too much off topic here, because this is just kind of like my, uh, opinion on this game. Uh, one thing I did notice is when you're running around, I don't know if it's just my connection, and hopefully I can go and catch it on video, uh, the people sometimes go and they teleport, so like when they're running, they might just go and be from there and there, maybe they fixed it, I don't know. Uh, another thing I noticed is when the first game, when it first came out, you weren't able to uh, play the game, you actually you had to do another update after you already downloaded the game. Because I'm like when I first downloaded, I'm like, wait, why can't I join this game? And it would be, it would say connecting, and then it would just, it wouldn't load, and it would be like, oh yeah, no connection, blah 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 blah. And then they made you do another update, and then now you're finally able to go in. Uh, how many players are on a server? I I don't know about that, and I'm not live streaming by the way. I don't, I kind of made it sound like I was, but I, I don't know how many people are actually playing this game. But I do know that there were 600 people waiting to play in the first server. I put, when when I saw that wait time, I'm like, nah, I want to just pick another one. But I do believe there are a ton of people in uh, on here. Oh, and if you look at the map, I noticed it's pretty cool looking. It kind of reminds me of a Battlefield in a way. Oh, and I didn't mention this before. I mentioned how the game looks really good. I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, my computer, as I said before, it was having issues with it. And before I got my new computer, I wasn't able, even able to play it at all. So if you have a PlayStation 4 and you don't have a top-notch computer and you always wanted to try out this game, well, now you can. Let me go and jump down here. Uh, they have also, you have different abilities depending on your class, so medics that can go and heal people, heal themselves. Uh, I'm a, I'm just an infantry guy, so I can go and use a jetpack. The jetpack is really, really helpful when uh, trying to get around, because this world is big, and the jetpack gives you a boost. Hey guy, can you help me? Can you let me on there? Hey, yeah, I'm not in game chat though. No, let me on, no! Okay, so as we're going to go and try to go and find a vehicle to get to where we're going to go and hopefully show off some more battlefield, or ba battle content, because... I wasn't really able to. I, I got I got killed and then now I'm all the way back here at base. So pretty much uh, the main goal is to go and capture different areas to get more resources so you can have more uh, materials to go and capture the entire world. So uh, imagine you know a game of Risk where you're trying to go and capture the entire board. So you need to go and capture different resources around the world to go and uh, be able to. So I mean one game could last probably a long time, it could probably last days to, to win an entire continent. And to win the war, meaning the entire map, would probably take, uh, I don't know, a long time, probably a month maybe. Um, I, I don't know, I, I don't... When I when I play the game, the the one of, the version of PC is huge, and I'm not really sure how to compare it in size, because, I mean, that kind of sounded wrong, but... Uh, I don't know which... I'm pretty sure PC probably could be able to fit more people, but then again, console. There, I noticed quite a bit of people here. Plus, this is just one starter area. They have different continents all around the, the world. Okay, let me go and deploy my vehicle here. And I think this is pretty badass. You can go and equip different turrets to your vehicle, and you can go and fire it. And somebody has a flying vehicle up there. Those are actually, those are really cool. I don't, I don't have one yet, but I played it on PC. And also, another thing I noticed is when you're driving on here, you usually bump, bump a lot. The ride is kind of bumpy. Whoa, okay. I should do a tree here. 
Alright, I'm gonna drive off this cliff. Hopefully I can survive. Room, okay, boom. It seems like this vehicle is pretty tough. But yeah, the bumps, the bumps are real. Alright, so we're at one of the war zones here. I didn't know, I don't know why it didn't bring me into uh, instant action when I, when I did that, but. Oh well. I was actually in a, a large scale battle earlier today where we had to go and take over this huge tower. And it, it was crazy. Oh. oh! What? He got me. Dang. I don't know. I'm doing terrible in the video. Maybe it's just because of pressure. I don't know. I don't know. I was doing way, way good when I was earlier today. I got like, I got, I think, 50 kills. Okay, well, actually, now we're in battle. Somebody has a uh, vehicle deployed here. So this right here is kind of like, it's a vehicle deployed the spawn area, pretty much. And... For the enemies, they would want to try to destroy that because then we can't spawn here anymore and then it would take longer to get here and then they can go and capture the entire area. Personally, in my opinion, I like this better than Call of Duty. Okay. Because right now I'm playing by myself, but playing with friends, this could be really good. I mean, you could have a coordinated attack and you could be like pretty realistic. I got blown up there. But just the, the possibilities in this game are are endless. I mean, well, not in terms of Minecraft, but you get what I mean. Anyway, guys, I hope you go and check out this game and try to support it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Prodigy X117 is out.